know that your personal development helps your spiritual development? I didn't know this. I, I should have known it, but I didn't know it. I kept complaining to friends that, um, you know, that, that I wanted to create a program that was spiritual. Uh, but I was doing personal development. I was a high performance coach. And how was I going to combine the two? And by the way, I wasn't doing anything very spiritual myself. I didn't have a spiritual practice. I wasn't feeling connected. And, you know, how was I going to provide something to other people that I wasn't doing myself? And besides that, the, the, the personal development work as a high performance coach I was doing just didn't seem to sync up with the spiritual side. And I was having a conversation with a colleague, also a high performance coach, and talking about this. And he said to me, Nina, spiritual development and personal development, same thing. Same exact thing. Every conversation that I have with someone about their personal development comes around to spirituality in the end. He said, you don't need two programs. Just do personal development and people are going to get out of that personal development their spiritual development. It was like a light bulb went off for me. I thought, wow, that's so true. The thing is that, the thing is that, uh, you know, I'm always saying it, the only thing standing between you and whatever you want is you. And it's no different when it comes to spirituality. If you want to feel more connected to God, more aligned to the Creator, more spiritual, you have to work on you. You have to get out of your own way because you've erected the obstacles to not feeling connected, to not feeling close to God, to not feeling like your prayers are heard, not feeling like you have guidance. That's on you. The onus is on you. And what does personal development do? Personal development res removes those obstacles because you're working on yourself and you're thinking about your limiting thoughts and limiting beliefs, your fears, things like that. And you're beginning to develop new habits, new ways of approaching the world, and you have more clarity. And so it's easier for you to move forward and to, uh, to develop anything you want, including your spirituality, your spiritual nature, your spiritual practice, to go deeper with your spirituality. <clears throat> so I've been playing around with this for about a year or two, and I have three areas that I really feel personal development helps uh, in terms of development, uh, spiritual development. And the first one is clarity. Um, when you work on yourself, it increases your level of clarity. And when you have more clarity, you know what your next steps are and it's easy to make decisions. But you also get clarity on things like your negative thoughts, your fears, your limiting beliefs, um, how you are behaving in the world that is not who you wanna be. You also get clear on who you wanna be and how you wanna connect with God, what that looks like to you. The increased clarity is everything. It's everything because it gives you a roadmap for moving forward and it gives you a roadmap for you know, getting around the obstacles or removing the obstacles that are in your way to spiritual connection and spiritual practice. The second thing is um, that personal development decreases disbelief. I think what happens is uh, as we go through life and we pray and we don't think we get our prayers answered, or we uh, talk to God and we don't think God hears us, or we uh, meditate and you know nothing's happening, or we're um, trying to deliberately create or consciously create and it's not working, we, we, our, our level of belief decreases and so we have disbelief. We, we don't have faith in God. We don't have faith in miracles. We don't have faith that our prayers will be answered. We don't have faith that we, can, uh, that we can create, we can manifest. That's disbelief. A lack of faith you know, is, is disbelief. And so the more we work on ourselves, the more we uncover our fears and our, our negative thoughts and our limiting beliefs, the more we um, turn those into positive affirmations and positive beliefs, the less disbelief we have. The, the, our faith goes up, our belief goes up, and it's way more easy, way easier <laughs> to to feel connected to God, to feel aligned, and to create new habits and rituals, and to, um, yeah, to really start to align with our spiritual nature and with the Creator. And the third and final thing that I've noticed is that when we are working on ourselves, when we're in some sort of personal development program, whether that's coaching or some 
program or class, we take bolder action. Because with clarity and with belief, we can be bold, okay? Courage is, uh, courage is bold action. And so we start to act in a more bold manner. We start to do the things we know will get us connected. We're always connected, but help us feel connected, help us get more in alignment with our spiritual self, help us uh, develop those habits. So, you know, out of the, when we're taking action, we can actually change, right? And this requires change. This is personal development is about change. It's about bettering ourselves, stepping into our best self, stepping into uh, the person we know we can be. And that is a spiritual person. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And when we can work on ourselves with personal development, we realize that and we get back to the core of who we are. We have clarity on who we are, that we are spiritual beings. We stop, um, we, we, we increase that level of belief. We stop disbelieving that it's true and that we're always connected to God and that we have a spark of God within us, a spark of divinity. And we start taking that bold action and developing new habits, new ways of being in the world that increase our spiritual development. So that's what I have to tell, say today. So I want you to, to, to I challenge you to work on yourself. If you want to develop spiritually, develop personally. Work on your spiritual development to get to that spiritual development. And watch for a new program for me. I will be combining high performance coaching with some spirituality and offering a new program. And so watch for that coming soon. And uh, in the meantime, if you're interested in personal development and a spiritual, um, you know, our spiritual, you want to move forward uh, with your spiritual development by working on personal development, click on the link above, uh, the link above, wherever it is, and sign up for, or apply for a free certified high performance coaching strategy session. Let's spend about 90 minutes together getting to know each other. I'll teach you some tips and tools about high performance coaching and the pillars of high performance. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about spirituality. You'll walk away with some things you can use right away to level up and to increase both your personal and spiritual development. Okay, so fill out the application. Until next time, I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. Go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.